Hey there, and welcome back. Today I am at the 2024 Austin Healy Conclave in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I brought three cars up here for the Conclave. I already took my Mark I Austin Healy Sprite over to the showgrounds. I have two more cars to get over there. Let's go check it out. They have washing bays as a lot of people actually drove their cars here. So after their long trip to get here, they have a place to clean them up. They have a bunch of cars lined up here in the hotel for us. This is the original Healy Silverstone that ran the original race here at Road America. This car is still owned by someone that lives here in Wisconsin. And we're lucky enough that he brought this car out today. Next we have one of the Sebring Austin Healy Mark IIs. It's just a fantastic old race car. You can see the nut that holds the spare in there. And we've got a Nash Healy. Next up, we have a Austin Healey 106 race car. This car has raced a number of races over the years. Yes, that's a little dirty from the races, but that's the way these cars should be presented. I'm here where they are auctioning off a whole bunch of art. I think there was no uh, really uh, justified. Actually, no. Uh, 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 oh, I see. Like, look at switches. If they get a little crappy from sitting, you sight. It's a neat diorama. Austin Healy Spares is a major sponsor of this event and they have a booth set up showing off some of their newest items as well as giving everyone catalogs for either big Healy's or Sprites. I have all of the cars unloaded. Today is Monday. This is Road Rally Day. They are doing a gimmick road rally. So they gave us a set of instructions to follow. They're calling it a gimmick rally, but it looks like it does use tulip diagrams, so it's pretty serious on your navigator to figure out where they're going. There's a bunch of questions to answer along the way. So this rally is going to be quite the job for a novice. Right now, this is the concourse judging area. They are judging the mechanicals of these cars, and then tomorrow they will be judging the bodywork on the cars. So they're checking everything to make sure that it functions correctly. All the lights, the horn, the wipers, every switch must be touched and made sure that it functions correctly. I'm a task board member of the Oak Heart Lake Historic Race Circuit Preservation Society. It's long name, so we call it HRC. Silverstone um, was a continuation of, of and you, maybe you all know this history, so I'm not boring you, it was a continuation of, of uh, Donald Haley's dream. Um, he started off with the saloon cars, became very successful in rallying, um, and began um, with Triumph, with, with um, Invicta. Um, eventually, he went on to build his own cars, as you probably know, the Westland and the Elliott, um, and they were all based on this same chassis, actually. It's now day two of the Concours. This is Road America Day. We're going to start the day out with an autocross on the go-kart track, and then we all get to go out for a 30-minute session on the Road America track, and ending with a historic reenactment of the original road course which ran through town. I'm at Road America now. We are at the go-kart track. We're about to go out 
and do the autocross on the go-kart track here at Road America, which is super cool.
try to push start that race car over there. I haven't had any success yet. Looks like they got it this time. wondering what all the noise in the background is there's a school going on right now Now that the autocross is gone, we're getting lined up and ready to go out on track. They limited it to 150 cars and it looks like there may be that many here today.
all the cars are lined up for a photograph now. Now we're going to get a police escort around Elkhart Lake and we're going to run the historic street course, the race course that they used before the actual track was built. I did win my class yesterday in the Gymkhana in the 948 modified class. Right now we're in Elkhart Lake across from Siebkins. We are getting ready for the big car show. The group on the right there, that is the special Heelys. That's where my Innocenti is parked. On the left is the race car class. We are waiting for all the other classes to arrive. They will be parked on the street in front of Siebkins. Once all the cars are here and in place, we'll walk around. The other cars are starting to arrive. They're parking them down the street in front of Siebkins. So it's quite the process and it's taking a long time to get them all angled in like that. Just because of the way they park things, we're going to start with the Austin Healy 106 class. These cars extend just a little bit up and then it moves to the 104s. So we'll jump over to the other side of the street. We have examples here of just about every single color. Just in case you were wondering, they do prefer, I think, that the bonnets are left shut. It is all about how the cars look naturally and not necessarily what they look like under the bonnet. And then we're going to move on to the Austin Healey 3000 class. There's a lot of cars in this class. So it's not an original color, but I love the blue on this one with the hard top. So many cars here, it's really hard to pick a winner. This one they have left unpainted. It's just polished metal. We have another one down here, just polished metal. Now we're moving on to the 100 and 100 M class. I've never seen this many original Austin Heelys. Yes. This is the Here's an unrestored barn find. Yeah, I want to see your 
<laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks something like that one right there. So you can listen to music. Next class is the 3000 Mark IIs and early Mark IIIs. This car looks like it's polished metal, but it's actually painted in a sparkly silver. Love this car. This one's set up like a vintage race car. This next class is the later 3000s. With the double lights in the front. And then we have my favorite class. This is the Mark I Sprites. This one has a Kellison nose on it. Got a nice red one with a hard top. And there's a race car. There is a race car class here. So those are usually separated out. Here's my car. Next to it, my good friend Steve Bell's car. He's from Florida. He's also an Innocenti owner, but he did not bring his up here. Another old race car. I love these green cars. Such a great color. Here's Jeff from the Winter Circles car. You've seen him on my channel before. Another green one. And after the Bug Eye class, we have the Square Body Sprite class. This one here has a supercharger on it. Looks like the Moss unit. Now we're moving on to the more interesting cars. This is the race car class, starting out with a couple Sebring Sprites. This one I raced this weekend at Road America. This one you might remember from the video when I went to the Portland International Raceway for the All British Field Meet. That one was racing there that weekend. This one is one of the cars from the 1963 Sebring. And down here, this should be a cross in the other class, but this is a original Fiber Fab Jamaica. This is owned by the original creator. Him and his brother designed these cars. This one is Austin Healy based. A lot of these were available as Volkswagen kits, but this is the very first one right here. That Jamaica should be in this class. This is the Healy Specials. Right here we have a Jensen Healy with a custom front end on it. And of course, next a Nash Healy. These have a Pen and Farina design body. So this would be considered an American car with an Italian body on it.
Next to that, we have a Healy Silverstone. This is a beautiful car. We saw this out at the track. Fortunately, went off at Canada Quarter and ended up in the gravel. Then we have my Innocenti Spider. This is based on the bug-eyed Sprite with an Italian body. And it has a factory hardtop, which is very rare. And we have another Healy Silverstone. This one raced in the original races here at Road America in 1950 and 1951. You can see the headlights behind the grill there. And we have another Nash Healy. Then we have a Speedwell Coupe. I'll try to come back with the nose down. This car is heavily modified and no longer powered by an A-Series engine. Then we have an Innocenti Coupe. This is called the Innocenti C. This is the Coupe version of my Spider. And this last one also has a Speedwell front end, but this one is not a coupe. It just has a hard top on it. So the rear end is still the same as a standard bug eye. So how far are you working this with this time? Oh, it's nice. Yeah. I took it, yeah, I bought it. It was uh, restored in 2013. this afternoon's tech session, Bill Rawls Classic Cars from the UK. So a little bit about myself, um, hopefully we don't have mic issues all the way through, but basically I've done a bit of motor racing over the years, um, but it all started with this car behind us, and we brought this car all the way from the UK. The Yanks that beat us, so <laughs> we probably put it on a similar, um, similar size as these guys use, um, but usually we're on a bias by top. So let's start with the, um, the most important bit, uh, the engine. So this is, uh, as you have in your cars, a three litre, uh, full steel, obviously you wouldn't have that, steel crankshaft, steel rods, Amiga pistons, it's got Dennis Welsh uh, alloy head, and uh, the triple Weber exhaust manifold, triple 45 DCOE uh, Weber's on the inlet. Uh, we're on a Mallory, which is a twin point distributor. Um, we do sometimes run them on single point. We aren't allowed to run them with electronic ignition. The next Austin Healy Conclave is not that far away. It is on May 18 to 23, 2025, and it is going to be held in Branson, Missouri. So maybe I'll see you there, and if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.